Just stay home and listen to Prime's broadcast. Mm. I'll see you in the car. Ten minutes, everybody. It's the 4th of July, Dad. We're going on a family picnic. When did you get to be your mother's daughter? Just this morning. Come on, Buck's coming as well. He's even threatening to bring a date. We have to be back in time. We'll be back in time for the broadcast. Transition to a blue sky, a green hill. Doremus stands watching as Sissy runs in carrying a picnic basket, and Julian runs on in pursuit of her. Doremus takes in the bucolic scene, breathing the fresh air as various members of his family come in carrying food, blankets, and some games. Philip. Morning, Peter. Since when do lawyers not work on holidays? Oh, look who's talking. So where's the family? Oh, Marilla took the kids to Boston to see her folks. Uh, the favored grandparents, I see. It was their turn, Dad. Family roulette. You know how it is. It's hard having family so far away. <laughs> We're lucky he could come at all. Here's a sweater in case you get cold. I'm perfectly fine, my dear. Mm, you don't know yourself, Dormouse. <laughs> Trust me on that score. He grabs her around the waist and kisses her. He smiles at her as Sissy and Julian walk on again. You've got to listen up, Julian. I didn't say I was going to go for a drive with him. I just said he wanted me to. That's not what it sounded like. No, he does have an awfully nice DeSoto. What, see? How can I compete with a brand new DeSoto? <sighs> there he is, my favorite bachelor. I thought you were bringing a date, Buck. Oh, I can't bring a date. Every time I do, you start making wedding plans. Should we do the balloons, Mother? Let's lay out the blanket first. Doremus, did we remember to call Lorinda? I did, Mom. Look at that view. The view. Why are people so obsessed with the view? Oh, come on, Buck, look at that. Have you ever seen anything more beautiful? The way the hills envelop the lake and the sky floats like a blue canopy over the valley. It's as if God decided to make Fort Beulah, Vermont, his personal showcase. Spoken like a man who spends all his time indoors. Aren't farmers supposed to be in awe of the splendors of nature? Uh, you need to spend a few weeks on your knees pulling weeds, my friend. Look at that view. Uh, woman after my own heart. God, help me, I'm not numbered. I was just re-educating Buck here about the wonders of nature. You love playing the romantic, don't you, Doremus? Hi, Aunt Lindy. Hi, Buck. Mom, is there anything to drink yet? Give me a minute. I brought you a German bundt cake. Ah, you know us too well. Oh, will you look at that view? <laughs> and to think, this perfect day will culminate in Buzz Windrup being endorsed by Bishop Peter Prang. You mean Prophet Peter Prang. And his league of forgotten crazy men. <laughs> Printing religious men has become the brokers of our political life. While we were taking in the view. Oh. Prang will never endorse Windrup. Who else would he endorse? I agree with Remus. Prang keeps his leverage by not endorsing anyone. Besides, Windrup's too much of a loose cannon for someone like Prang. Our man Buzz thinks he can get away with saying anything. It's working pretty well for him so far. It's bound to catch up with him. He seems hell-bent on offending everyone, including the press. Especially the press. But he loves the publicity. He's got you right where he wants you, Remus. The more offensive his remarks, the more papers get sold. <laughs> Maybe I should quit while I'm ahead. I'll sell the informer and move to Tahiti. You die of boredom within two weeks. Not if I have the right company. The unkempt, rough-edged Chad Ledoux carries in a massive glass cistern of iced tea. If you turn the ice cream yet, Chad? If I turned it before I made the tea, it would have melted before the time I got here. <laughs> you people ever thought about getting a freezer, or does me having a broken back not matter? Let me know. Chad puts down his load and storms off. Why do you keep that fellow on? Uh, she has been with us for so long, I've almost grown fond of it. Oh, have you now? I tell myself, I'm doing a social experiment. I'm trying to train him to be as gracious as the average Neanderthal man. <laughs> hey, you raised me, and the Neanderthals are your specialty. Mm. Honestly, I feel bad for him. I'm not even sure he can read. I'm surprised you didn't take it upon yourself to teach him. Told me he greatly admired Buzz Windrip. Can you believe it? What a beautiful day, isn't it, boys? It is, my dear, truly beautiful. They're about to start the fireworks. Come on, everybody, gather around. Happy Fourth, Remus. Happy Fourth, everybody. Back in the family parlor after the picnic, Doremus adjusts the radio amidst the static, trying to dial in a station. Others enter as he does. 
Finally, Doremus gets a clear signal. These little ditties are brought to you by Toily Oily, the natural home cathartic and performed for your listening pleasure by the Smoothies, a trio that makes America proud. Now here they are again, the Smoothies. Uh, smoothies, God, who listens to this? You're on the wrong station, Dad. This is Bishop Prang speaking to you, my friends of the radio audience with an announcement pertaining to the upcoming presidential election, an election that will determine the fate of this distraught nation. A single question now hovers over us, whether to endorse any of the candidates who seek the nomination for president. Amazing, for many months now, I and the League of Forgotten Men have prayed to RCA the Lord for model, guidance. Like Joseph in the desert, our faith has been sorely tested. There are no easy answers to this complicated question. As you know, we have not been inclined to endorse any See, candidate. He's not doing it. Our prayers have been directed to ensuring that both the control of credit and the power to issue money be taken away from the banks. Sounds like the communist man. That all inheritances be drastically cut and that all swollen incomes be severely limited. But Satan is powerful. The League of Forgotten Men must make a stand to fight against all subversive organizations which unfortunately are so largely Jewish. Of course. And which must be driven with whips and scorpions off the face of the earth. And so it is that after long months of prayer, the directors of the League of Forgotten Men and I myself announce that in the coming...